This is Chris at Lifetime Trail Maps, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to rename a route that you have created. So let's say you want to create yourself a route for the weekend, or, or you know, maybe you and your friends want to go out and ride, and everybody wants to have the same route or the same track file. I've already showed in one video how to create the track, but I'm going to show you now how to actually rename it and to retrieve it onto the screen. All right, so for this video, I don't have a track created yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and just create a quick track here. So we're gonna go to Tracks and Route Tools and create a route. So let's just say we're gonna make a trip around the neighborhood. So we're gonna start here. We're gonna go here. We're gonna go up here. I think we're gonna turn around and come back here. And we're gonna come back to our starting point. All right, then we're gonna hit the blue check. And that has saved our track. Now, if you've watched the video on how to create a track, you're, most of you are familiar with what you see on the screen here. Now, what we want to do is we want to be able to uh, rename this and maybe even share it with friends or whatever. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our Tracks and Routes Manager. We're going to go to Manage Tracks and Routes. And you're going to see right here at the very top where I just created this track. Um, that one I just put a check box is the one that we just created. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a check by that and then we're going to go down here to the very bottom and you're going to see the little disc and we're going to tap that disc and you have several different options. Uh, if you export it as a GPX track, when you re-import the track, it's going to show up as a directional track with multicolored lines in it based on the speed that you were going. And I think whenever you just create a route, it's all green. So that being said, I like KMZ because it creates it as an overlay. So let's go ahead and hit KMZ. And you can see where down the bottom there it says file created successfully. All right, so we're going to uncheck that. Now let's go find the file. So what we want to do is we want to go to our home screen. And we want to find the uh, My Files app. And you can see on the bottom left-hand corner of my screen the yellow uh, icon with the white folder. We're going to tap that. We're going to go to Internal Storage. We're going to scroll down to Lifetime Trail Maps. We're going to scroll down to Track Logs. And you're going to see that file right there that we just created. If you look at the date, you'll see November 11th at 2.34 p.m. And you're going to see that, uh, that dated KMZ file right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to long press that file. And that particular file is the one that we want to rename. So what we're going to do is, first and foremost, we want to check the details and we want to make sure that it is a valid file. And you can see that it is a valid file. It has valid file size and everything. So once we've verified that, we're going to click OK. Now, once we've uh, verified that this track is OK, what we want to do is we want to go to the upper right-hand corner and touch the three dots. And you're going to see rename. So let's go ahead and rename that to test track. And then let's hit rename. And now you can see at the bottom of the screen here, it's called test track.kmz, which is the file that we just created. All right, now let's go back to the app. All right, let's go out back into the, uh, to the mapping software here. And let's go ahead and just remove this track off the screen. We're going to go ahead and tap the little uh, routes and tracks icon, and we're going to hit clean routes. So now we have nothing on our screen, but we want to pull this test track KMZ file back up. So now let's go over here to our folded map. Let's touch overlay options. Now, you're normally familiar with loading a lifetime overlay. However, this is not a lifetime overlay. So what we want to do is we want to click on load KML or SHP overlay. All right. Now, you may not uh, see this particular screen that I'm seeing right now because my storage is already directed to my track logs folder. But what, what we want to do, if you're not on this particular screen and you don't see your file there, let's tap in the upper right hand corner. You see the little cylinder that looks like a, uh, it looks like a little barrel next to a memory card. That is your hard drive. So let's tap on that. We want to tap on lifetime trail maps. We want to tap down at the bottom on the track logs, which is where the file was. And now we see the test track.kmz. Let's put a check next to that and then at the bottom hit OK. 
and you can see that we've just loaded that track that we created as a KMZ overlay back onto the screen. Now, you can also, like I said, do it as a, a GPX file. Um, the, the reason that you would want to do it as a GPX file is because if you have any other overlays loaded on the screen along with this overlay, let, let's just say, for instance, let's go load a lifetime overlay. Let's say we go ahead and load the Kentucky, Tennessee overlay. Actually, I think I'm in currently in the Alabama. It's going to pull it off the screen there. So you would have to actually go back and add the test track file back onto the screen. Oops, let's see. Overlay options, load SHPKML load test track on top of the lifetime overlays and now you can see that it loads the lifetime overlays as well as the one we created however the biggest issue is when you go to remove the overlay you'll see it removes every single overlay so let's do this again as a k or i'm sorry as a gpx all right so we're going to go back up here and we're going to recreate um we're going to recreate this route in a gpx format so let's just do some generic creation here in a little triangle and then let's hit check <clears throat> now what we want to do here is we want to go to the um, tracks and routes editor again so we're going to go back to the tracks and routes manage tracks and routes and you can see that track that we just created let's put a check by it hit the disk again this time let's export it as a gpx there at the top it says file created successfully. So now we want to go back to lifetime maps. Let's go ahead and remove that off of the screen. And then let's go back to the hard drive again. And you can see this file here again. It's this one right here. You see it created the GPX file. All right. So let's go ahead and rename that. We're going to name that test track oops two we're going to rename that and you can see down at the bottom it creates test track two dot gpx so let me show you what happens when you load a gpx file back onto the screen all right we're going to go up here we're not going to use that same menu we're going to go to the tracks and routes menu we're going to go to manage tracks and routes Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to go to a different directory. We're going to go to um, Tracks and Route Tools, and we're going to load KMLGPX. Now you can see the test track 2. We're going to check that. Hit OK. We're going to click Accept. No navigation. And there you can see it pulls it back onto the screen again with the waypoints that we created as uh, our intersections. Now, in order to remove that, you just go back to your tracks and route setting and hit clean routes and waypoints. So that is how you rename a track file as well as export it as a GPX or a KMZ overlay. All right, guys, as always, ride safe.